State Board of Education Open Educational Resources Report, Information Gathering and Recommendations, Spring 2022. This committee is comprised of various members throughout the college, including the Library, ITRC, Faculty Senate, and Academic Affairs Administration. The Idaho State Board of Education has directed each of Idaho's eight public institutions of higher education to submit an initial open educational resource report by June 1st, 2022, as part of SBOE Policy 3U, Instructional Material Access and Affordability. Open educational resources are teaching, learning, and research materials that reside in the public domain or have been released under an intellectual property license such as Creative Commons license that permits free use and repurposing by others. This report communicates each institution's implementation plans and goals for instructional material access and affordability. Committee achievements include regular committee meetings since last fall, presentations to faculty senate and dean's council, a Qualtrics OER survey was sent out to all instructors in November 2021. From this, recommendations were constructed. Literature review has been conducted to confirm OER efficacy and overall quality. To better assess the accessibility and affordability of course materials, an anonymous survey was sent to faculty members. This survey was open from November 16th, 2021 to December 3rd, 2021. There were a total of 15 questions. There were 272 complete responses. A total of 310 responses were received. 11 responses were 40% complete and 27 responses were 67% complete. Instructional materials are defined as print or digital media used to support access to knowledge, books, articles, lab manuals, study guides, software, subscriptions, modules, multimedia, assessments, assignments, courseware, and full courses are common examples of instructional materials. Top priorities when selecting or adopting course materials that resulted from the survey included educational quality and cost to students. 105 instructors said that they were not involved in textbook affordability activities. 208 instructors were interested in creating new free affordable materials or using an existing materials to develop or update a course. Top incentives for creating new free or open course materials included either a stipend, professional development funds, and consideration of efforts on annual evaluation reports and or promotion processes. Top incentives for adopting new free or open course materials also included either a stipend or professional development funds. Recommendations that this committee is putting forth includes one, update course schedule to include OER course markings. Create stipend opportunities for OER creation and course development affordability projects. Identify courses at ISU with high return on investment for OER or affordability projects. Promote the inclusion of OER or affordability work in annual evaluation reports and promotion and tenure processes. Offer professional development opportunities related to OER and affordability. Address misconceptions and increase awareness of OER and affordability work on campus. Encourage the adoption of affordability values in ISU leadership and faculty. Next steps include committees to continue to meet and complete draft of the report for the State Board of Education. Asking for feedback from colleges, department chairs, faculty. There is going to be presentations at Dean's Council, Faculty Senate, Leadership Council, and Administrative Council. 
then submit the report to the State Board of Education by May 23rd, 2022. This is due by June 1st. We appreciate you taking the time to watch this presentation. Should you have any suggestions or concerns related to either the encouragement of adoption or creation of OER and or more affordable course materials, or other ways to best communicate to faculty and programs and departments about these initiatives, please reach out to any of the committee members listed on this PowerPoint presentation.